Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, this is the Metatron speaking, let's talk about shoulder armor. Today I'd like to show you one of my new purchases, this is a uh, shoulder guard as you can see, or spaulders, and uh, I got them forged by the Forge of Svan, so I'm going to tell you more about that specific choice, but um, just wanted to show you a little bit of a quick update video onto this impression that I'm building of the medieval knight. So these shoulders will be attached directly to this Armin doublet that I've got. As you can see, I've got already these here ready to point it. And the way, of course, it's going to work is that there is a strap here and the strap goes inside my arm. And then you just have to point the shoulder in place. So are these part of the crowdfunding that I have got going? Uh, no, this is actually a personal uh, purchase that I made with my own money. And uh, first, because they were rather cheap, particularly, well, cheap, inexpensive, I'm going to say, because in terms of quality, I actually like them. I think they they did a very good job. So um, they are cheap in the sense that uh, they weren't particularly expensive. Uh, I only got them for like pretty much, uh, I think it was a hundred bucks or something like this. So plus shipping pretty good and they are made of a heat treated spring steel a medium carbon steel and therefore they are in 1.5 millimeters thickness so uh, these are ready for combat and that's what I'm gonna use them for so as you know I am building a late 15th century impression through the crowdfunding that I've got going for uh, I've had going for a while and in fact yesterday I was sending the measurements to the um, Smiths in, uh, in Crimea Crossman of Tauriga in fact I had to build this thing to take measurements, think, think about that. It's made of cardboard and the Smiths actually uses steel ones, but hey, I can't forge steel yet. Anyways, I, I sent him some, some measurements because he's, he's making, as you know, breastplate, backplate and fold. But in the meantime, I've got a little tiny project uh, on the sides uh, that these shoulder plates were intended for this. Now, I, in this picture here, I'm wearing them together with a breastplate that was also made by uh, the Forge of Svan. Um, given there is a little bit of a uh, time difference between the two, the breastplate being an earlier kind of armor, but I've just put it on for the purposes of just showing you how the shoulder plates look together with, a, with some torso protection. And I think that they look really nice. Am I happy with this purchase? Absolutely. And one thing that I'd like to say just right out of the bat is the fact that uh, wearing these sort of plate uh, protection for the shoulders is so far gives me an interesting perspective because as you know I always wear Roman armor uh, and I also wear samurai armor and so far uh, although the uh, you know, the Roman Loriga Segmentata, the late 15th century, late 16th century kind of samurai armor that I've got, and these kind of shoulder plates are three completely different protective systems that defend you, uh, that defend your shoulders in combat. And so far, the plate version is my favorite. And I think the reason is because the pointing up in the Armin doublet uh, makes them so comfortable that you literally almost forget that you're wearing them. The other day, just for, for trying, uh, we played a uh, board game called Thief, uh, France 1429 I think it is and the whole game lasted three hours and a half and I wore my shoulder plates the entire time and it was absolutely fine now three and a half hours in Roman armor can be I mean I can do it I've done even worse but then you start feeling it a bit on your shoulders and uh, three and a half hours in samurai armor well not too bad I've got to say in terms of how comfortable they are Japanese saw they are also attached directly to the armor, so they are very comfortable as well. But um, in terms of how protected I feel, um, I kind of prefer the protection given by the knightly sort of plate armor, late 15th century, 15th century plate armor that I have got now. So um, am I going to use them in sparring sessions? Absolutely. Am I still going to get a full late 15th century Italian 
pauldron through the crowdfunding absolutely so that's still happening of course this is just a little side project also because i am trying to build different impressions as i told you before i'm trying to recreate also the impression of a um, genoese crossbowman for example and the kit so slowly working towards that and obviously i'd like to take an opportunity to thank both my patrons and the people who support me through the crowdfunding and if you don't know what the crowdfunding is about you'll find a link in the description below but suffice to say that i really was looking Looking forward to show you these shoulder plates because I'm really happy with them. Now in the Middle Ages we know there were loads of different designs and loads of different patterns and particularly as we get into the late 14th century, 15th century and 16th century then the amount of choice and options even if you focus only on plate is outstanding it's incredible there are lots of different designs some are specific for battle battlefield harnesses some are specific for jousting harnesses and, and jewel but still um, there is a lot of variation and and i wanted to get these symmetric smaller uh, spaulders because then i can compare them with the actual big asymmetric northern italian style um, aldrons that i'm having produced so not only comparing the uh, you know plate armor knightly harness with other cultures uh, including Chinese by the way because I've got some interesting Chinese armor videos in the background that I'm producing as well so look forward to that and but even within the same European culture still there is such a variation even if you just look into German armor English armor Italian armor French armor still even within that very spectrum uh, you will find so much variation that is really mind-blowing and I love medieval armor i love the figure of the knight i play the figure of the knight in the majority of games that i play and therefore i like experimenting and having experience with several different kinds of knight armor or european armor so that's what i wanted to do today just a quick update to show you how you know some new stuff that is coming up some new things that i am guessing i will keep you posted with the production of the other harness that i'm having produced at the moment but for now let me know do you like these shoulder plates what do you think of them uh, let me know in the comments below i'm really looking forward to hear your opinions soon the video on Chinese arms and armor and more VS videos and for those of you who follow me for For Honor I am also producing a video on the uh, Sunda, the new Chinese hero. Thank you so much for watching. Talk to you soon number ones. Ciao.